Hey everyone, it's Quinn. Thanks so much for clicking my video to watch this channel. If you are new here, please remember to like and subscribe below. I hope everyone's having a great, beautiful, and productive day. This is the look we're going to be doing today. Um, I did change my outfit, so you guys, once I actually get into doing the makeup, I'm in a different outfit. Because once I saw the outcome, I said, this blue is too cute to just stay in that top of hat on before I had to, you know do it do it all right yeah let's just get to it today i decided to play another game of do my makeup blind because i wore my glasses all day long and i just didn't feel like putting contacts in because it is getting late so this is the palette we're going to be using today it's by juvia's place juvia's place is a black owned makeup company and we'll be using this palette today lovely colors very very bright this is the magic mini very very beautiful artwork i really like the layout of this palette too um there's clear color stories going across but then there's also like these little quad color stories going on there. You guys see that? Isn't that cool? I've never used this palette before untouched, so it should be fun. For this eye look, I'm only going to be using my fingers. This first color is Yamoja. It's a gorgeous, shimmery, silver blue color. Yamoja is actually a Yoruban goddess, celebrated as the giver of life through water, so very fitting shade. And I'm taking that and applying it to my inner corners with my pinky and then removing any excess with a clean finger and just blending it in a little bit more to that corner. Taking my time, making sure it's neat. Cleaning off my finger before I go to the next color to keep the color integrity. This color is called Buzzo, and that word is Spanish in origin. It means diver. So let's dive right in and place that on the center of the eyelid. And I just love that beautiful, shimmering sea green. Absolutely gorgeous. The next color is Vi. Another shimmer, a little deeper there, a bit of a navy shimmer. Vi are um, a group of people. They're actually a tribe that are located in Liberia and a little bit in Sierra Leone as well. And they have their own language, which is also called Vi. Now here's the fun part. We are going to blend it together by swiping across in one direction from the inner corner to the outer corner. And see that gives it a nice, even gradient ombre kind of a look and we're going to take our wipey and wipe up them edges again just going from underneath all the way out to the tip of the eyebrow at this point this is a gorgeous look this is a fantastic look you can easily stop here put on some liner and some mascara or lashes and call it a day. But uh, we're gonna keep going. Make it a bit more dramatic. The next color is that wonderful navy called Yehide. Yehide means you look like ya mama. In a good way, of course. And I'm just using that as a crease color, starting from the outside and working in. By starting on the outside, you are applying the darkest, most pigmented spot to the outside, which is where you want that darkness in a smoky look. And as you work it inward, it will get lighter naturally through the blending process. Making sure that it's even. 
And I'm working in small concentric circles. I'm taking any excess and working that upward toward the brow bone. And clean up time again. I like to clean as I go along. I find it makes it easier and prevents any staining, especially since these are such high pigment colors. And I'm feeling myself, feeling myself. Going back in with Yemoja, I'm going to just re-highlight those inner corners after that blending. I want to make sure that highlight really just stays there. And I'm also going to be taking that same color and highlighting right underneath the uh, eyebrow. And that is just such, uh, just a lovely blue highlight. But because it was a, a bit strong, I decided to go back in with the Yahide, that dark blue that we used in the crease, to blend it into the highlight and give a bit of a smoother transition. Now I'm taking the shade Vi, and I'm going to use that on my lower lash line, starting from that outer corner, and just going to about halfway. I know I uh, dipped back into that shade, there it is, yep, just to get it a little bit darker and more cohesive with what's going on on top. Next, I'm going back to Buzzo. And we're going to use that on the lower lash line as well, but this time starting in the center and working it outwards in both directions so that Buzzle ends up going all the way across and blending into the Vi shade. That way we have that same cohesiveness of having the buzzo on the center and then again popping on that lower lid. I really did love that green shade and I wanted to work with it some more. Now I hate how thick it came out because using my finger, even though I'm using my pinky, it still came out a bit too thick for my liking. So handy dandy makeup wipes, which are really just Huggies Naturals baby wipes because I have to order a ton for my kids. So um, I use some too. They were great as makeup wipes, and that's much better. So I just took about half that product off. Next, we are going to line our upper lash line, and I'm using my Magnetic Liner by Glamnetic. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shaking the crap out of that thing. And fast forwarding, because that's how much... I have to shake it for it to really work as well as it's supposed to. So if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I normally will line with my ColourPop BFF liner as a guideline before just going right in with a liquid wand liner. Doggy. My dog is scratching my carpet. I swear he's a cat. Anyways, so I'm pretty proud of myself because of I went right in with my wand instead of using my pen as a guideline. So yay me, small improvements, but they're happening, they're happening. That's the whole point, right? Live, learn, make improvements, get better, improve. So I'm gonna let that dry. While that's taking its time to dry, I'm going in with my Catrice eyeliner pencil and that is in the shade, don't be mean to be green. <laughs> pretty cute and I'm going in kind of heavy with it um, it's not super pigmented so I had to go over a few times at this point my lashes are on those are the glamnetic lashes in the style vibe and right here I am just using my color pop uh, what's it called the color pop act natural mascara in the shade black to go on ahead and make those lower eyelashes really, really pop. Because there's so much color on the bottom. 
Here I'm using my face setting spray by ColourPop. I absolutely love this stuff. It is um, made with coconut water and hyaluronic acid, so it's literally skincare. I did go ahead and do my full face off camera because I feel like I need a lot more practice before I can really feel confident posting that. I don't want to give you guys crappy face product advice, poor application skills, and you guys go out there and try to do it and wonder what the heck happened here, what did I do wrong when I know I'm really not the best at it. So right here I'm using my Catrice Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Vintage Rose. I am really not a fan of that lip pencil, but it best match the color of the product I'm using now, which is a new ColourPop product called Fresh Kiss Lip Cream. And um, it is really, really creamy. It feels absolutely amazing going on. That is in the shade 411, which is my birthday. And I love that it's a pinky nude, like a birthday suit. Very nice. Feeling myself again. So here we are, done. Can't believe it. Thank you so, so much for all of your support. Thank you for your views. This, at this point, is just a fun hobby for me. It's a great way to relax and unwind and, you know, get cute because I don't go anywhere. So this is nice for me. Thank you again. Please subscribe below if you haven't already. Uh, I also started an Instagram, so please feel free to follow that. It's Quinn's Beauty Corner on Instagram. Thanks for watching, and remember, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and stay beautiful. Bye!